hey guys and welcome back to the channel on today's tutorial i'll be sharing with you how i made this deep neckline bustier gown with a cone sleeve so if it's your first time viewing my channel please hit on the subscribe button if you're a returning subscriber thank you so let's start that so here on my pattern paper i have marked out my vertical measurement which is my shoulder to bust my shoulder to under bust and my shoulder to waistline and i marked out the neckline of three by three and a half inches so the next thing i'll place my tape and mark my shoulder divided by two and i will be going down by one inch to mark my shoulder slope and from that point i will mark and connect creating my shoulder slope and the next thing i will do is to place my tape to get my chest line and to get my chest line is my bust side conference divided by 6 plus 1.5 inches and I will rule a straight line at that point and I will go ahead to outline that line as my chest line. So the next step I'll take is to measure my armhole, go ahead to divide it into two. Before I draw my armhole curve, I'll place my tape, mark my both side conference divided by four and from that point i'll please connect to my armhole and from my armhole point i'm going to take it to my shoulder line so after drawing that i'll go ahead to use my marker to outline so the next step from here is to mark my nipple to nipple and i'm going to mark it at the bust point at the chest line at the under bust and i'll go down to my waistline and mark so after i'm done doing that i'll just go ahead and place my ruler and i will connect a straight line and i'm going to divide what i have at my shoulder into two and from that point at my chest line i'm going to go ahead to extend it down to my shoulder point so i'll be marking one inch at both sides for my dart intake i'll mark it at my waist at my under bust and i'll go ahead to to connect with a straight line from my under bust down to my waist and i'll connect it at the other side also so after connecting that i'll place my french curve touching my bust line down to my under bust and i'll be repeating this for the other side also connecting from my bust down to my under bust and from that point i'll be deciding where i want the yoke part to start so i'm just going to place my tape mark 1.5 inches and i will draw a line at that point so on that point i marked i'm just going to take one inch that at both sides and i'm going to extend it to the bust line i'll also repeat this at the other side this way so after i'm done marking that i'm just going to use my marker and i'm going to outline it so that it will be very visible because my lines are looking faint with the pencil so at the bust point i'll be going down by half inch and from that point i'm going to connect it down to the upper part of my pattern but before i do that i'll just use my pencil to draw a faint line that will serve as a guideline for me then i'll go ahead and connect it to that part and i'll use my marker to outline it so that it will be visible so this is what i have at this point and i'll just make a straight line at the other side because if you notice the neckline or the yoke part is actually straight on this part so this that intake i have at this point i will be replacing it outside the armhole so why am i doing this so that by the time i blend in my pattern or i join my main fabric my yoke and the body of the dress will be the same so i'll just go ahead and mark that two inches that i took out at the top this way so next i'm just going to take this french curve and i will retrace my armhole back to my chest line so from there the next thing i'll do is just to label this as yoke and i'll start inserting my body side conference at the bust i will mark my bust side conference measure the dart intake and i'll mark my sewing allowance at the under bust i'll mark my under bust side conference divided by four i'll go ahead to 
measure my dart intake and i'll mark my sewing allowance at this point so going down to my waistline i'll mark my waist circumference divided by four measure the dart intake i have here and i'll go ahead to replace it so after doing that i'll just go ahead to mark my sewing allowance so the next thing is just to connect from my bust down to my chest line so i just went ahead to extend the line i have at the chest line and i will connect it down to the bust line and from the bust line down to the under bust and from the under bust i will extend it down to my waist line so after this i'm just going to go ahead to connect this yoke part because we're going to be working with the yoke at this point so my pattern for the front is ready and i'm going to go ahead to cut it out so at this point if you haven't yet subscribed to my youtube channel please hit on the subscribe button and don't forget to give this video a thumbs up so after cutting out my pattern this is what it is looking like and if you place it together you notice that the upper part and the lower part is meeting for my back pattern i'll be drafting out a basic back and i went ahead to mark my zipper allowance and my shoulder divided by two then i marked my shoulder to waistline so after that i'll mark my neckline of three inches by 1.5 and i will mark that from there i'm going to connect and draw my neckline and i will extend it down to the zipper allowance so after extending it at my shoulder divided by two i'm going to mark one inch and i'm going to extend it to the lower part for my shoulder slope and from there i'm going to get my chest line which is my bust circumference divided by six plus 1.5 inches and i will mark so next i'm going to find the middle of my armhole and i'm just going to mark it then go ahead and place my tape from the zipper line and i'll mark my bust circumference divided by four and the next thing I'll do is to go in by half inch and at that point I'll connect it down to my armhole and I'll extend it up to my shoulder line this way. So after I'm done marking that, next I will be marking my shoulder to under bust line. So the next line I'm going to mark is my shoulder to bust point and I'm going to make a mark at that point. So after that I'll Go ahead and place my tape and i will mark my bust circumference divided by four and i'll go ahead to mark my 1.5 inch sewing allowance my shoulder to waist point i'm going to mark my nipple to nipple divided by two and i'm going to connect it down to the bust line and on the lower part i'll mark half inch and i will extend it out for my dart intake at the back so after marking that i'll go ahead to insert my measurement so at my shoulder to under boss i'll insert my under boss circumference divided by four measure the dart intake i have replaced and mark my 1.5 sewing inch allowance at the waistline i will mark measure the dart intake replace it and mark my 1.5 sewing inch allowance so all my measurement is starting from my zipper allowance so i'll go ahead and connect the next step i'm going to take is to go ahead and i will cut out my pattern for the back going over to the upper part at the shoulder point i'll be leaving about half inch after the line for my joining allowance and after that at the neckline also i'll just be adding half inch for my turn up or sewing allowance at the neckline also so from there the next step i'll take is to get rid of the bulginess at the back so i'll go ahead and mark half inch at that point and i'll extend it back to the upper part and and i'll go ahead to cut it out so with that my pattern for the back is ready so for my skirt pattern i'm going to place mark my shoulder to waistline which is about seven inches and i'll mark my shoulder to skirt length so the total length of my dress is 37 inches which is my half length is 17 inches and the remaining 20 inches i'll mark it at the lower part so i'll go ahead and also mark two inches for folding allowance or turn up allowance so most times when i'm making a bust here i don't add that to the lower part of my skirt so i'll go ahead and mark my waist circumference divided by four 
I'll mark my 1.5 inch sewing allowance and from that point I marked my hip measurement I'll mark my hip circumference divided by 4 add my 1.5 inch sewing allowance so coming down to the lower part of my skirt whatever I have at the hip point which is my hip circumference divided by 4 which is 10 40 divided by 4 I have 10 plus 1.5 11.5 so I'll be taking out 2 inches from there which I'll be having 9.5 so the reason why I am doing this is just to have a fitted look at the lower part of my skirt and I'll go ahead to mark and I will extend it to the lower part. So after doing that, I'll just connect from my waist down to my hip and from my hip down to my skirt length. So with that, I'm done drafting out my skirt pattern. And the next step I'll be taking from here is to cut out my skirt. After cutting the front part I will be cutting the back part and to cut the back part of my skirt I'll just place what I have in front and I'll place it on another fabric pin it down and what I'm going to do is just to measure out the zipper allowance in front and I will trace out what I have what I have at the back part of the skirt so after I'm done tracing out what I have at the back part of the skirt my skirt pattern is ready and the next thing I'll do is just to slit this part of the skirt open. After slitting that for the cone sleeve, I'm going to be dropping a video of how to create also a cone sleeve. And with that, we have come to the end of this tutorial. So if you find this tutorial very interesting and educative, please hit on the subscribe button. And don't forget to give this video a thumbs up.